Hello students, myself Dr. Gyanu Prisi. Today, I will demonstrate the practical from this syllabus. The aim of the practical is to study the effect of anti-epileptic anti -epileptic effect of test run that is ferritoin in maximum electroshock seizure model in rats. Students, the maximum electroshock seizure it is a type of experimental seizure which is produced in rats as well as in mice. This is to mimic, simulate or resemble the epilepsy type which is present in the human beings. So, if we broadly see the or broadly categorize the epilepsy disorder or disease, it is broadly categorized into two types. Number one, it, the number one part is the partial seizures. The partial seizures are different from the generalized seizures. Generalized seizures are called as generalized because in this type of seizures there are stages which occur in step by step manner. As an example, if you see a typical example of generalized seizure is flexion, then is the extensor movement, then is the clonus movement, then followed by stuba and then the recovery. Okay. So, if we talk about these four to five stages, if we see carefully the flexor movement, flexor movement means when the movement of the limbs moves in the front direction, like this, when the movement moves in the movement of our neck as well as our hands moves in the front or the forward direction. Then we talk about extensor. In this type of epilepsy stage, the movement of the limbs occurs in the backward direction. We say movement occurs in the backward direction. Then it is the clonus phase. In the clonus phase, there is irregular contraction of the body muscles which lasts for at least some seconds. Then the another phase is stupor. In this particular phase of generalized tonic-clonic seizures or generalized seizures, the stupor phase resembles or exhibits features of unconsciousness. That means the rat or mice might, re might remain unconscious for a particular period of time. After the stupor phase ends, then it is followed by the recovery phase. So that is the reason these generalized seizures, because they occur in a sequence or step by step manner, hmm, that is why these are particularly categorized as generalized seizures. On the other hand, if we talk about partial seizures, they can also become complex depending upon the severity or the pathophysiology of the epilepsy disease. For example, a partial seizure can remain simple seizure without loss of consciousness in which particularly some typical or some only few parts of the body show abnormal movements or it can also become complex in which lot area of, or a larger area of the brain or body could be affected. Sometimes unconsciousness, sometimes not. Okay. So now, the electroshock seizure model, as you can see in front of you, there is a device which is used to produce electroshock seizure in rats or mice. Because the name says, this is called as electroconvulsiometer. This apparatus is called as electroconvulsiometer. This electroconvulsion meter is used to send or produce maximum electroshock seizure in rats or mice by using these specific electrodes which are connected to the which are connected to the further knob of the apparatus. We have already set the a knob to a point of 10 multiplies and the other hand, the other knob is placed on 15. So 15 into 20, 150 milliampere of electric current will be passed to the eyes of rats which are holding in a particular position. Once before doing or passing the electrical discharge on the eyes of the rats, the rats, rat eyes are a uh, little bit of saline is poured on the eyes of the rats. Then a 150 milliampere of electrical discharge 
is sent through the through, through these electrodes towards the eyes of the hair of the hair and only for a period of only for a period of two millisecond sorry two seconds okay two second period is used now after doing this what we we can see then similarly as i already described it will this instrument will send electrical discharge which will produce maximum electroshock seizure and that comes under the category of generalized seizures and we already have discussed about generalized seizures generalized seizures occur in step that is flexion extension clonal space stupor recovery that is the frontward movement in the front direction movement in the backward direction of limbs and clonus is the abnormal jerking consistent abnormal jerking of entire body that is stupor unconsciousness no activity with respect to the surrounding that is the recovery okay so as an example in this phase would be followed by in the front direction contraction then in the backward direction then abnormal contraction of entire body then followed by unconsciousness and then recovery okay so if we see on the board there is a result table which has been shown before discussing this result table what are the requirements for this practical we do require a rat that is 150 to at least 200 grams in weight we also require phenytoin drug which is anti epileptic drug a gaba a receptor gaba a subtype receptor agonist and then we use electro we also require electro convulsiometer a saline and an animal cage okay the, now the procedure as i already described the animal is carefully hold on a position and as 150 milli ampere of electrical discharge is conducted through the eyes uh, for a period of 2 seconds after that we will see the generalized seizure in a sequence which has already been discussed here okay now when we see the result table for this experiment what we see there are two different rats one rat is only controlled there is no drug is administered to this rat the other rat is which has been administered or pre treated before giving electroshock seizure that rat has been given a phenytoin drug at a dose of 25 mg per kg intraperitoneally intraperitoneal cavity now when we pass the electrical or maximum electroshock seizure or electroshock seizure through the eyes in both of these rats what we see when there is no treatment in the rat we see flexion stage might might be seen for period of 4 seconds extensor phase for let us say 11 clonus phase 3 seconds stupor a little a little bit longer that means unconscious like state unconscious that's like state would be present for longer period and there is the recovery now students if a pre treatment is given like a phenytoin which is a very good choice anti epileptic agent also used in Uh, childhood epilepsy uh, children which are suffering from generalized epileptic discharges if we pass the same milliampere current for same intensity and same duration what we see we could probably expect a decline or decrease in the duration of all of these phases let us say flexor might be reduced to this probably this value extensor for this value clonus further decrease to more than double stupor only lasting for 60 seconds and then followed by the recovery so what we can conclude from this experiment that the anti epileptic drug phenytoin can reduce the intensity or reduce the time duration in the generalized seizure phases and or it can also completely prevent the development of generalized seizure using the maximum electroshock apparatus or model so i hope this in this experiment is now very clear to you and it is going to be very helpful for you to understand your practical thank you students for listening thanks